Hey folks, guess what I got in my hand right here. Let's see, does that look familiar? Yeah, it looks like regular old game loads, don't it? Yeah, that's because that's what it is, it's game loads. But guess what? I got fishing lead put in here instead of game shot, instead of number seven and a half or eight shot. We've got fishing lead split shot in sizes that equal pretty close to number three buck and number 31 caliber single alt buck. Stand by, we're gonna show you what it'll do to a varmint. Rachel's gonna shoot, shoot the first two. We got 15 pellets or 15 split shot stacked in here by threes. I'm gonna go over that in a lot more detail here in just a few minutes. And in the 12 gauge, these are all federal field or estate. There's one estate and one federal field here in the 20 gauge, both of these are federal field. In the 12, we got 16, 16 of what would be about the size of a number three buck in one round and we got 12 of what would be about the size of a 31 caliber single alt in the other round. We're going to shoot them two at a time and we're going to shoot the old Miss Pig target here. Stand by guys. They were at 20 yards. Rachel's just going to shoot him twice out of the buck kicker choke tube on the 20 gauge. Even the automatic ran both of those rounds too. All right, let's go check the target. That pig is eat up, son. He is eat up. He's got pellets in his head. Only two did not. Look at that. That is. Well, look at that, folks. We ain't only two pellets split fishing shot. Wasn't in the pig somewhere. That being a dead pig, varmint of same size or whatever. But let's see how the 12 gauge does. And all of these game loads are advertised to be between 11 and 1200 foot per second. So that's what they're going. That's why we're set up here at about 20 yards. Average varmint distance with a shotgun, especially with improvised buckshot. My first shot is going to be the 12 pellet 31 cal single all size followed by the 16 pellet number three buck size. Here we go. All right, let's go look at the target. It looked like the load with the uh, lighter pellets went a little high. Boy, it grouped them in here, though. Holy cow. I was trying to hold as close to center mass. This ain't a real... You look at my hand here, guys. I need a real big animal. That's actually about the size of a fox, a coyote. Wow, what a pattern, though. I have to go back and look. But I was trying to hold center mass right here. But it probably looks like it threw that lighter load. The number three buck size a little bit high. Still enough in his spine that killed him. I think that looks like the bigger pellets right here. All right. Well, there you have it. Oh. Well, hey, guys. In, back in Sporting Goods in Walmart. If uh, I got to thinking about it, and a lot of folks, when it comes to home defense, want to be able to make up some buckshot rounds they can't they can't find any buckshot their local Walmart doesn't have any but I tell you what the local Walmart does have and I'm gonna show you how to put together something with what we can find in here stand by first thing this is what you want to look for right here split shot you want to find the split shot that don't have the wings on it see this stuff here has got the uh, the wings on it to reuse it you want to get the split shot if you can, that doesn't have the wings on it. I think that doesn't and that doesn't. We're going to probably pick that up right there. These are going to be the packs that I want to grab. 
is going to be the uh, 24. I was looking to see if there's a number on it, but we'll look closer at it once we get it out of here. This is the uh, ammo selection here in my local Walmart here in Camden, South Carolina. This is what you want to pick up if you can, is the federal stuff. Federal is just a little bit easy to deal with to do what we need to do here. They have individual stuff. The Remington will work okay too. But for, you see, no honey, I got it. Thank you. It is just so, to, so much more expensive than the federal stuff. I think the estate would work okay as well. And this will work for 12 or 20 gauge too. The uh, federal buckshot that I shot at the range the other day that did so good, I'm looking at it right now down here, and uh, they have it for 1246 for 15 rounds of the 3 inch Magnum double arm. I'm going to pick up another 15 rounds while I'm in here. Well, guys, I got their last box. That's the exact same stuff we were testing down at the range. You see the way it performs out of my shotgun. Whenever they have it, you saw it's in there $12.49 in my local Walmart. So, can't hardly pass that up. But anyway, there you have it. With the way the world has gotten, I'm hearing from a lot of folks, it's getting harder and harder for a lot of folks in this country to find stuff with all the anti-Second Amendment rhetoric and actions that are going on in our country. So, a lot of folks that use shotgun as a home defense weapon are, uh, don't want to have to use birdshot and they don't know what to do about the buckshot if they can't get their hands on it. If you can't get your hands on it, then I've got a quick and easy way to show you how to put together some home defense buckshot using fishing lead that you can find at just about any Walmart anywhere. Stand by. Federal Field in both 12 and 20 gauge as well as a state in both 12 and 20 gauge will work fine in this mod. I should have mentioned also while I was in Walmart that Remington Gun Club will also work fine with this mod, although you have a little bit less space. I haven't tried this with the Remington Gun Club, only with the Federal Field in both 12 and 20, but this works good enough and usually this ammunition is available enough at your local gun stores to work out just fine for you. The only tools that you're going to need is a pair of pliers and an improvised sticking device. Uh, this is just a little cheap screwdriver that I ground down into an ice pick. And I use it to open um, a lot of the old rounds I messed up with reloading. Or you can open anything with it. Here's the split shot that I'm using. It's the Water Gremlin, number 5 and number 7 that I picked up at Walmart. And uh, I'm going to show you the measurements on these here very shortly. Be careful opening these things up, folks, but it's, it's easily done. Just take your time and you break this crimp loose. Once you break it loose, then you can just work it around and widen up the mouth of the uh, hole enough to where you can pour the shot out. Save that lead shot. Lead is a valuable commodity. The 20 gauge works identically the same. Start right there in the center and just start opening up the crimp and work your way around. Pour your shot out into the cup and then we're going to work on getting this improvised buckshot installed. I know the crimp here looks ragged, 
but it'll work just fine once you get it pressed back together. It will run just fine in your shotgun. Like I said, folks, I'm using the number five and the number seven Water Gremlin split shot. I like the round shot because it don't have the wings on it. If all you could find is the shot that had the wings, you could probably use it. I just don't want to use the shot with the wings because it can make it really fly erratic. The rounder it is, the better. Now, just gently close up the gap on these. Don't mash it hard. This is really soft lead. Just gently mash it until you close up that gap and make it round. I did load up around without mashing any of the lid. We'll talk about that again here in a little bit. At its widest point on this sphere, it was 0.318. That's 31 caliber, close to 32 caliber size. Shortest side, it was basically 30 cal, just under 31 caliber. The number seven size split shot, we do the exact same thing. Just carefully take your pliers and close up the gap because it is very, very soft lid. And like I said earlier, we did shoot around without closing it up and it didn't seem to make a whole lot of difference. But measuring out, we do the same procedure. I did the same procedure with the number seven lid as I did with the number five and it comes out to roughly around 25 caliber which is number three buck size. The 12 gauge is uh, an ounce and an eighth round, and the 20 gauge is a seven eighths ounce round. We measured out the, the 12 pellets of the 31 cal going into the 12 gauge, and you see it was just over an ounce. So it's a little bit lighter than the shot that came out of it. We're gonna stack four rows of three in here for a total of 12 pellets. Now, just gently start closing up your crimp. Just take your time with this. I just use my fingers to start it and just keep working it closed until you basically have the round all closed back up again. I could have used my press, my mech reloading presses to make this real pretty, but I decided to do this with absolutely none of my reloading tools, just basic hand tools, so that any of you folks out there, if you don't have a press, you see that you can do this yourself. And here we're measuring out the 15, number three buck size split shot, comes to .82, which is just under 7 eighths ounce. So we're actually a little light on this round as well. Stack your 15 pellets in here by threes in the 20 gauge round. Just make sure they go in there uh, symmetrical, just like you would do with a regular buckshot round and then start closing your crimp back up just like you did the 12 gauge. Made it a little bit easier. You, uh, you can just use your, uh, a mayonnaise lid or something like that to start pressing the crimp together that just makes it a little bit easier on you we're not trying to win any beauty contest here it's about functionality and this will function just fine we're going to drain and refill one more of the 12 gauge except this time we're going to use the number three buck size split shot I did not close this shot up I put it in there right out of the bag and we can get 16 of these pellets in the 12 gauge and like I said, I did not take the pliers and close any of these up. We were gonna give them a try, just like they come out of the bag. Stack them in here by fours, four rows of four, 
put a 16 pellets in here. We put the 16 pellets on the scale just to make sure we're not getting any uh, too much weight. And it's actually 7 eighths of an ounce is what the 16 pellets are and that we're putting back in the federal round. Close the round back up. And when you got your crimp basically back where it was before, you're ready to go shoot them. Happy hunting, folks. Well, what do you think, folks? Uh, I put a lot of thought into this. Uh, it, it just blew me away how many folks that I've heard from that said, Wade, we just don't have access to buckshot. Now, there's so many states that it's illegal to hunt with buckshot, but not illegal to shoot varmints um, or pestilences or the kind of pest that breaks into your house in the middle of the night and folks that would rather use something that's a little more substantial than just bird shot, like seven, seven, eight, uh, seven and a half, eight shot, stuff like that. Using this method that I showed you today, uh, even if they don't have buckshot, they usually have the, the game loads and they usually have a fishing department where there's split shot available. Hope you guys liked the video. I'll be back with another one very, very soon, guys. This is Wade Rush, host of the BRO channel. Appreciate all of you here. Bye-bye. We would like to thank all of these fine folks that help us out on the Patreon page. Without you guys, we would not be able to keep doing what we're doing. Thanks again from the whole BRO crew.